yourself into something, you kind of play that out in your mind? Is, um, is that accurate? You know, um, sometimes it is. With, with long-term goals like playing football or, or careers or, or, or the businesses that we're in, but a lot of times you just got to be on your toes. Our coaches used to say, keep your head on a swivel on a kickoff because you may be going this way, but guess what? There might be somebody that's coming to block you and take your head off on the side. And I feel like business or life is even the same way. You know, We were focused on, for example, investing in properties years ago. And that's what we focused on. And we had rental properties after rental properties. And guess what happened? That economy came inside, that bubble burst and hit us. And our head wasn't on a swivel. So you got to always be prepared um, to fall back on something, you know, whether you're familiar with it or not. And again, we'll get into the business that we're in today. We had no idea what we were doing, you know. So you have to learn to quickly learn to get on top of it before before it's too late and you fall behind. The key point that I think you you, you brought up as to how you go about things. Um, you you were saying that you usually commit strongly to a goal and you want to be the best at achieving that goal the best that you can possibly be. What happens when things don't work out exactly the way you want to? In other words, how do you overcome obstacles when you have set a target, but whatever circumstances are, something happens that either well, stalls you or completely makes you change direction? It's happened, both of those um, examples have happened, and I guess what, the way we look at it is, you have a goal, but then there's reality. So, you know, you're focused on something. Perfect example. I wanted to play 10 years in the NFL if I could, right? So, a couple different injuries, you know, came, you know, one obviously is known. That, uh, my back surgery is not very well known. So, you know, my goal is to play as long as I can. I was, my stats were pretty good, and all of a sudden my second back surgery, and now I'm having to look for a job because you know, the NFL's not there for me anymore. Right. That was not planned, and it just happened. So you just have to focus, and now what happens is, you can't let it get you down. I mean, of course I'm upset, of course I'm, you know, you feel like, man, this thing's come to an end, and you're hurt, and right. you still want to keep doing it, but the reality of life is, focus on something else. As long as you're giving everything you have, not everybody's going to make it, not everybody's going to be a Pro Bowl kicker. Guess what? One kicker on each team gets to be in the Pro Bowl. My goal is to play in the Pro Bowl. If I get alternate, yeah, I'm not happy about it, but you did pretty darn good sure. to be able to learn and grow for next year. That's happened is what we're doing now is building homes for wounded veterans. And the way I look at it now is how can I complain, even if it's a job, guess what, the NFL is nothing more than a great job. You know, yes, you get beat up and you make a lot of money, but it's still a job. Right? So how can I be more upset than, you know, for example, Charlie, who we built the first house for, he lost both of his legs in Afghanistan fighting for us. And I've never seen him upset. Every time we talked to him, you know, we were driving down the road and lost his wheelchair and flew out the back of a, of a truck. <laughs> you know, that didn't and, bother and it didn't bother him. He goes, it's only a wheelchair. So yeah. for somebody to be so positive like that, that he's 26 years old, he's fighting for our freedom. And to show that, you know, he's always, his class is always half full, then I have no room to complain about anything else going on. So, is that a social comparison thing, or is that a, a cultural thing, or is that a bill thing that says, I have no right being upset about that, considering other people? Is it the other people, or is it you? I think it's a lot of um, a family thing. Mm -hmm. I think it's a lot of spiritual thing. I think it's, um, look, I if other people want to complain about what's going on in their lives, they're, that's their prerogative, that's what they can do. Mm -hmm. I just feel personally that I've been so grateful. I have a beautiful 11 month old daughter. My wife is amazing. I have my brothers and, and um, sister in laws and, and nephews are more than I could ever ask for. So I feel like um, I'm pretty blessed. So I shouldn't get mad about, you know, one, you know, kick or one injury derailing sure. because. If I wouldn't have gotten hurt, maybe I wouldn't have met my wife, and maybe I would, it wouldn't have gone to this path, and maybe we wouldn't be building homes for women veterans that is more rewarding than anything I've ever done.